for um, the political news or information, I usually get it from social media mainly. I use social networking. Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Online news through my Facebook feed. It's basically because I'm on my phone 24-7. Because a lot of people share a lot of their political views, especially now in the Philippines since the coming elections is in May. Aside from that, in our classes, we also uh, are able to get articles and uh, readings. Since we, my family and I have access to the Daily Enquirer, I usually read the Daily Enquirer every morning while having breakfast. Probably my friends. Maybe my parents because they're kind of superior, I guess, in age and in knowledge. ABS-CBN, usually um, TV Patrol, that's where uh, I get a lot of news information. So that certain uh, TV station really uh, has an impact. My parents, they try to convince me sometimes of like their endorsed politicians. Usually I talk about it with my teammates because um, they're also my roommates and they're basically who I'm with 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I'd say my closest friends. I share it with my friends. I think I'm most comfortable with them sharing my personal insights. We usually talk about it over lunch. I don't really use social media that much to express my political views or my knowledge on politics. When there's an interesting article or an interesting um, case that shows up, uh, it's either I'll copy the link and send it uh, via Messenger or Viber or um, a group chat. Some people use it too much. I think that they do is they just post everything that they think about but then they don't really you know they don't really mean it they just want people to like their post oh yes of course there is there is a lot of room for debate yeah a lot a lot of the time since a lot of my friends they want other things and then i want i, I have different perspective from them so sometimes we exchange ideas like what's better in our school uh here in ateneo it's it's always um, something that is uh, talked about. Sometimes we may not share the same views and we argue about this candidate over the other and all that. Yeah, then we start browsing online and proving something that, oh, this is why I am right or this is why you're wrong. I expect someone with integrity. Be loyal to the country. I mean, you know, we have, we've had a lot of politicians who are, especially now, we, a lot of issues are surrounding our politicians that they're corrupt. A lot of. They take money from the government. Commit crimes and usually they just get away with it. It's uh, about how the person works and what the person does. Just want a person who can prove that he or she is willing to help other people and that he or she would not put his own or his or her own needs first before the country. I don't expect a boom like change, um, a sudden change, but I expect um, small gradual changes that will lead to a greater snowball effect that will continue for improvement. Uh, that's a hard question. Yeah, definitely. You know, like since I'm registered voter and every vote, I, I really think every vote counts. I can be part of it by exercising my right to vote. But then in a, larger, in a larger scale, I feel a little bit powerless in a sense because there are a lot more people voting. I could start off small changes I could make, uh, I could make with my, my friends. In my own immediate circle or where I work, I practice what is right. The change then can spread on towards the whole uh philippines slowly by slowly given that i have the power and the right to vote and if i exercise that right then i'm actually doing something to at least contribute to this discourse we can uh, make a difference